Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most important steps in creating 3D environments, planning ahead and learning how to think in terms of modularity. Whether you're working in Unreal, Unity, or any other engine, planning your environment with modularity in mind can save you time, memory, and make your scenes way more flexible. Let's break it down step by step. Before you even start modeling, you need a plan. Ask yourself, what's the environment's purpose? Is it a game level, a cinematic, or a virtual set? Think about the scale and mood. A medieval village feels different from a sci-fi lab, and both need different sets of assets. Without planning, you risk creating assets that don't fit together, wasting hours reworking pieces and ending up with a scene that feels inconsistent. The key point here is that planning gives you a roadmap, so you're not reinventing the wheel with every new asset. So what is modularity? In simple terms, Modularity is designing your assets in a way where they can be reused and combined like building blocks. Think Lego bricks. Each piece is designed to fit with others, no matter how you arrange them. In 3D environments, this means making walls, floors, trims, props, and details that snap together seamlessly. For example, instead of modeling a 50 meter long wall as one mesh, you break it down into 2 meter wall segments window variations, and corner pieces. That way, you can assemble hundreds of unique-looking walls from just a handful of meshes. So how do you plan for modularity? Pick a consistent measurement system. For example, Unreal often works well with a 1 meter equals 100 unit grid. So you might design walls in 2 or 4 meter increments. You always want to start with a block out. Lay out your level with simple cubes or gray box versions of your models before making detailed models. This lets you see how many pieces you'll need. Identify repeating elements. Hallway doors, hallways, doors, windows, railings. Look for patterns. Anywhere you see repetition, that's where modularity shines. Think about transitions. Don't forget connectors like wall corners, floor trims, or ceiling supports. These little pieces make the whole kit feel more polished. So what exactly are the benefits of modularity? When you build an environment with modular pieces, this allows for faster iteration. You can build complex levels quickly by reusing pieces. With modular pieces, you also get consistency. Your environment will feel cohesive since everything shares the same design language. Modularity also helps with performance. Fewer unique assets mean fewer draw calls and easier optimization. With modular assets, you also get scalability. Once you have a modular kit, you can repurpose it for future projects with minimal effort. What are some practical tips when using modular pieces? One is to keep the pivot points aligned, making snapping painless. Test in engine as early as you can. Don't wait until everything has been textured to see how it fits together. Mix modular with unique hero assets. Modularity is efficient, but a few unique pieces prevent repetition from looking obvious. Document your kit. Make a quick reference sheet showing all the pieces and how they connect. This also helps if you're working with a larger team. So that's how you plan your 3D environments with modularity in mind. Remember, spend time upfront planning, block out your environment, and build assets like Lego bricks. It'll save you time, give you flexibility, and make your environments feel more professional. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more 3D art content, and drop a comment if you want me to cover modular kit breakdowns in more detail. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.